<laughs> Afternoon guys, hope everyone's fine and well wherever you are in the world, whatever you're getting up to and whatever you're doing. Welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Christmas festive Beat of Berserker. And before we start, I say this each and every time because I mean it, that I really, really appreciate each and every single one of you out there. I really honestly do for watching my videos, liking my videos, subscribing, commenting. I do read and will respond to each and every single comment that is made in down below. So please feel free to comment about anything. And I'm here to show you guys that small brands, individuals and craftsmen are alive and kicking and they're making some amazing products and we really need to get behind them, help them, support them and do as much as we can for them because these guys are kind of like a dying breed if you know what I mean. There are so many massive brands now and online shopping shop, shopping sites that are selling kind of like this homogenous mass produced stuff that's got no soul, no passion, no, no love behind it. Whereas these smaller indivi individuals and craftsmen and small brands are making some amazing products and they're putting their heart and soul, their own money into what they're doing. Let's face it, they haven't got the same amount of money that these huge massive faceless brands have that they can throw into promoting, marketing and advertising their products. So they rely on us in order to go out and buy their products support them, help them and encourage them in order to carry on doing what they're doing, which is what I'm trying to do here. So all the stuff that gets sent through to me, stuff that I go out and buy myself, all the reviews I do on my channel are completely honest. Always have been, always will be. And if there's some a reason why I like a product, I'll say why I like it. If there's a reason constructively why I don't like a product, then I'll say why I do not like it. So everything I do is completely unbiased and my own honest opinion. Before we get started, plug your coffee. I'm trying to get in and do a lot, lot more Christmas crafts, reviews and videos on the run up to Christmas to try and help small brands and these individual craftsmen out there. Um, to get more sales in before Christmas. Then in the first week of December, I'm doing my Crafts Christmas Gift Guide. It's gonna be a live YouTube video, uh, the first week of December, which gives you ample time to go out and buy stuff if there's something you happen to see that you like uh, from it. If you are interested in getting involved, please drop us a message, send us a message over there on Instagram. I'm over there as Viking Beard Matt, all one word. Comment down below because I'm just going to adjust my camera very slightly. That's better. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys, help promote and support you, which is the whole reason why I set this up in the first place. This is not about me. Um, I'm just the vessel and give you guys my honest opinion. And the reason all my reviews are honest is I would hate it for somebody to watch a review go, oh, he really rates it, goes out and buys it, gets it home and then goes, he was lying. That's not like that at all. It doesn't smell like this. It doesn't do that. It doesn't do this. So all of my reviews are completely honest. And I have a new review for you this morning. Slightly different, still on the arts and crafts theme. And this is some rings that have been very, very kindly sent through to me from Germany. Now, I really, really apologize if I cannibalize the name. Astiega. Um, whose name is Bene, or B-E-N-E, -E, Bene, Bene, from Germany. And he's a craftsman. He's got a red bubble site, uh, clothing, all sorts of bits and pieces that he makes. He's a craftsman. And he sent me through some examples of his rigs to see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion, and to try and help support and promote him. So please give him a shout and a follow. Links will be down below there in the description box. So Please help him out. And the rings that he sent through are very, very different, to be honest. And I like stuff that's different. There's nothing worse than having the same as everybody else. And he makes his rings from all manner of bits and pieces. And obviously my job is kind of like teaching kids about conservation, beach conservation, putting your rubbish in bins, taking it home with you and everything else like that. So I really support this whole upcycling thing. 
I'm often watching the packaging when it turns up, what stuff's been sent to me, whether there's loads of plastics involved and stuff like that. Is it recyclable? Is it upcyclable? Because let's face it, there's so much took in the world nowadays that are filling up land sites and on the beaches and problems with animals and conservation and everything like that. And so I really love this whole using something old to make something new for a new purpose or whatever. And these rings that he has sent through are really something amazing. Some of them are metal, some of them are wood, some of them are paper, and some of them are card. These are all handmade and all various different prices. When I asked him um, about prices and stuff for my notes, he was like, I don't know really. He said some are under 50 euros, some are over, I don't know. Um, but what he sent through is absolutely stunning. So we're going to be having a look at the rings that he sent through, giving you guys my honest opinion. So first of all, this ring that has been sent through has been made from a playing card. It is obviously the Queen of Hearts because there is the Queen and the Hearts. This has been made from a card. It's been varnished and laminated, not laminated as such, but coated. And it's, it's nice to see rather than a card just end, ending up in a bin, even though technically cards are recyclable and everything anyway. It's nice to see something completely different. And out of all the rings that he sent through, it just about fits my little pinky ring. I really, really like this ring for some reason. It's just got one of those kind of looks to it and feel to it that I really, really like. And very cool being made out of the card. Another one that he has sent through is... Something he found that's got some form of, I believe, it's Japanese writing on it. Please don't ask me what it says because I have absolutely no idea. And you can see it on the inside as well that runs around. And I love this idea of making something cool, uh, something that's just dis discarded and thrown away, off cuts, old bits and pieces. Really, really cool design. Um, good as a thumb ring. For me, and all different sizes, I'm very sure if you get in touch with him, he can kind of make you something up. This one was made, by the looks of it, out of an old picture or postcard or something. I don't know whether you can see that, but it's kind of got a Tudor looking cottage front on it. Then on the inside, you've got that going round. And these are quite solid. I would assume making out paper and card and stuff like that, that they're going to be either brittle or very, very soft. And they're not, they are, I don't want to push too hard on it because there's I've no reason or point of me breaking them. Um, but they seem very sturdy and really well made. Another one that he sent through, this one has got, it looks like German, it's 1473. 40, my eyesight's not that great, maybe the camera will pick that up, I don't know whether it's made out of a stamp, a postcard or something like that, and the cool thing is all these are handcrafted, so you're never going to find the same piece twice, it's always going to be slightly different, really really nice piece, and like I say you can see it, the other side of it on the inside of the ring. Another one that is sent through is this one, which I'm not sure whether that's paper or wood or, I, th I believe it's card, judging by there is writing on it. It's slightly thinner one side and thicker on the other side. Really beautiful design on it. I feel like QVC channel doing this. And they're all very, very smooth, really nicely finished. Again, nice thumb ring. And they all vary in prices depending on the material that you want. We've got another one here. And it looks like kind of layers and layers that have been sort of like buffed down and sanded down to give you the color gradients and variants within it. Is that a ship or something? I don't know. My eyesight is bad considering how old I am. It looks like a ship or a temple or something in there. And it's got a red inlay around it. Just beautiful, beautiful pieces. Another one we've got is 
a plum wood and stainless steel ring. You can see the stainless steel inside and the plum wood. Really nice, delicate, thin ring. It goes on my wedding ring finger quite happily and snugly and ooh, not coming off again. So there's loads of different styles of rings and everything. And this is just his hobby, his what he does, he makes things, all sorts of stuff. Some of the clothing he does on his website is absolutely amazing. This one is made from a German coin. You can hopefully just about pick up the writing and everything that's around it. I'm not sure I'm holding up the right way up, is it? B U N D E S Bundes Republic or something. There you go. Again, really, really nicely done. You've got the wood inlay of it. And I like stainless steel because it's obviously a lot cheaper to make out of. Um, it, you don't have a problem with sort of discoloring the skin and rust or anything like that, especially when you're messing around with salt water because I've got the sea just out here. And one of the beautifulest rings that I've seen in a long while. This one, which is brass, he found an old bit of brass um, that was in the trash and he literally created an anvil shape from this piece of brass, turned it into a ring. I think that is really quirky, really stunning, nicely done, solid brass, weighs quite a bit as well. Um, this will just about fit on my wedding ring finger, whether you wear it that way round, whether you wear it that way. Really nice thing. And I thought this, when he said he was gonna send it through, was gonna be sort of clumpy and get in the way. And I do like the fact that when you're just out and about, you can wear it like that. And if you are doing something a bit more dexterous, you can just spin it round. It looks like a brass ring, and you can have the anvil bit on the other side, which doesn't, doesn't stick into your hands or anything. Well, it does if you change angles on it, but if you have a flat out the back, it doesn't change angles on it. And it is a really, really nice piece. And if I was to choose one and sort of say, basically have whichever ring you like or go out and buy one, I would not know which one to get because I'm hard pressed because all of them are so different. And it's great that the fact that they're all made out of bits of card, bits of paper, bits of wood that's been laying around, bits of brass, and I love it. I love upcycling and crafts and some of the stuff that people are creating nowadays, whether it's clothing, beer products, skin products, hair products, jewelry, leather work, woodwork. With crafts, everything is different. No two pieces are the same. I like this whole rustic feel to it. It doesn't have to be shiny and highly polished like this stuff that you get from these online, massive online shops, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm not gonna go into details on which one, but with the crafts, everything is different. And it's the time, the love, the energy, the passion that's gone into creating something that they enjoy doing. Because if you don't enjoy doing it, there's no point doing anything in life, if you know what I mean. Um, but I just love each and every single piece. They're all completely different. All one-off pieces that you're never gonna find anywhere else. They're never gonna be identical, never gonna be the same. Really well crafted. Each ring has been sanded, smooth, varnished, coated, almost like resin coated to give them that hard durability. I have had one in a bowl of water overnight just to give it a bit of a test to see what it was like. Would it unravel? Would it just disintegrate? And it was this one here and I've had no issues with it at all. So to a certain degree, I wouldn't obviously advise prolonged uh, submersion in water but stood up well and just as good as it did when it turned up. And thank you, thank you so much to Asiega for sending this through, Ben A. Uh, absolutely beautiful products. I love the rest of the stuff that you create in your artwork and your clothing as well. Some really unique designs. Plus as well on his red bubble, there are loads of different codes and Instagram to get 10, 15% off of items. Great idea for Christmas presents or just as a gift for yourself if you got a little bit of cash left over. I'm not going to give you definite prices because he didn't have a definite price on each one. Uh, they all vary in prices. 
loads and loads of different designs and I'm sure he could make something up if you had a postcard or photo or newspaper cutting or something like that of yourself that he could make into a ring. He did ask for ring sizes before he sent them through as well. And he's got loads and loads of different, he just does it as a hobby, knocks them out, sits there bored and just oh, yeah, create another ring. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Cannot thank Ben A enough, or Bean, Ben A? Yeah, it must be Ben A. For sending them through, absolutely amazing products. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you've enjoyed this review this afternoon. I have two more reviews coming up tomorrow morning and then that's it. All the reviews done and up to date and finished. So anyone out there that does need a hand, needs some support, promotion, a review doing or something, I don't charge for it because I'm doing this purely out of the love of the stuff that people are creating out there. So I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great afternoon wherever you are. So keep on taking care of each other and above all, keep on looking after each other, helping, supporting each other, growing those beards if you're growing one. And I look forward to seeing you guys from the next review from me, Matt, the festive bearded berserker. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.